Good morning, everyone. So I'm here in Smyrna, and you can kind of see it here. I'm in a garage. It's actually a vacant house. You look behind me here, you can see the water heater behind my right shoulder. Um, so when they built this in 08, they were not thinking about access to certain valves that need to eventually be replaced. So I'm seeing a situation here that's in and of itself not a big deal, but because of the way they've installed the water heater, it's making a much bigger deal. So let me show you what I'm seeing. So here's the water heater. And again, this is 2008 um, a build, but it's 2022 right now. So um, this water heater is basically at the end of its life. Um, so the issue is I do a, you know, all home inspectors should be doing a water pressure test. This is my gauge on the water system. You can do this here at the um, clean out valve for the water heater. You can see the pressure is really high. It's 110 PSI. You really want to never be over 70 or 80, um, usually around 50 or 60. So what that means is that the pressure regulator needs to be replaced. Well, again, that's a very common thing for plumbers to do and for home inspectors to find, but if I scan up here, the pressure regulator is this guy right here. Let me see if I can point that right there. So how are you going to be able to get to that? Look how narrow everything is right here. So it's super tight. I don't see how this could be replaced without moving this water heater. And if you're gonna move this water heater, well, based on the fact that it's at the end of its life, it really will need to be replaced now. So again, in order to fix the water pressure issue, they're gonna to have to replace the entire water heater. So it's a small initial repair, but now it's turning into a, you know, $1,500 to $2,000 repair. So just uh, one thing why I point out access to valves and new construction, even if they don't end up fixing it, but maybe someday down the road, you're gonna run into this issue that we're seeing here. Thanks guys.